You said that there is a space for many streaming services in the market. I know you've been impressed by um, what Disney has accomplished. We've just seen HBO Max uh, launch a new. How many of these services, though, do you think actually have the potential to, to reach 100 million or 500 million people? And, and will there be consolidation and who's left standing? was a huge difference between uh, Disney Plus, which is over 60 million subscribers in the first year, and HBO Max, which is three or four million. Um, so uh, one of those is like really incredible. I would not have guessed you could get to 60 plus million in the first year. Um, but, you know, we'll see depending on what the quality of the services are. I do think over time there'll be additional consolidation like Fox Disney, um, which has proven to be great for Disney. Um, but, uh, you know, there'll be probably some more of that because consumers want, you know, fewer brands, you know, that give a wide range of entertainment rather than too many. Now, as the center of gravity for Netflix shifts from Silicon Valley to Hollywood and you're hiring more of these Hollywood executives who've been trained in different worlds, how do you make sure that Netflix doesn't become just another entertainment company? Well, we'd love to be a great entertainment company. We don't want to be a lousy one. Um, so it's taking the best of studio cultures. Think about long-term brand management. And again, think about you know Harry Potter and how, how well developed that brand was. Um, and uh, Star Wars, and you know, we don't yet have those franchises. And there's a lot we still have to learn from traditional uh, media and the skills that they have at stimulating creativity. But of course, we want to stay very flexible, always learning, very customer focused, very member focused on, on what we do with our programming. And we're able to do that because we're producing all over the world. So when we have a Spanish show like Casa de Papel or a German show like Dark or, you know, a British show like Sex Education, you know, they can be big hits all around the world. So speaking of international growth. What are the new frontiers that you're most excited about? Where do you think Netflix will be making the biggest breakthroughs in the next five years? Well, we've been very strong in, in premium television for a number of years since uh, Orange and uh, Stranger Things. Um, now we're getting very strong in movies, you know, both at the awards level and at the consumer uh, pleasing level. Um, uh, Unscripted has really uh, developed for us uh, with uh, Floor is Lava, and Tiger King, um, and um, animation is just beginning, so that will be a big uh, focus for us for the you know, number of years of expanding that category. Um, and then we've got you know, great stories coming out of Italy, coming out of Spain, uh, Poland, um, so you know, some really big successes. So how many years of growth are left before Netflix has to think about something new? And, and, and what might that be? I mean, would you be open to a big acquisition, video games, social media? Um, you know, we always try to keep an open mind. Uh, my first company, we acquired a lot of companies. And um, so we've kind of been through that, not you know, afraid of it. It's got some good and bad properties. But mostly we want to make our service better. And there's, you know, at least 5, 10, 15, 20 years of growth, um, really focused on uh, making our service better and better. And we've always added new types of programming, uh, for example, starting in series and then expanding into film and nonfiction and uh, now animation. So we'll just continue to expand in, in what we offer in the service. Now, I understand you know, you've been complimentary of what Disney has been able to accomplish with, with their streaming service and arguably Disney has a very different culture than Netflix. Have you learned anything from Disney, from Amazon, from Facebook or Microsoft where you're on the board? Yeah, um, you know, we've learned a ton from every one of those companies like Microsoft, the way they think about the 10 year picture is incredible. I mean, they've got such a long term view of the trends, you know, in the world and how they approach that where I would only seen people thinking about next year. So um, that's a, a great example there. Um, and then in Disney, we, we kind of talked about brand management, but their kind of long-term brand stewardship, you know, is phenomenal. Uh, the way they do consumer products, we have a lot of catch up to do before we get close to being as good as them at consumer products. But we're definitely focused on closing that gap. We've got a great new group, and um, so that's moving forward.